Thousands of people travel great distances around the world every day. Some to learn, others to live. Sergei Yakushev from Moscow is traveling to survive. Conventional treatment of his advanced brain tumor has not been effective so far. His only hope now is to try a completely new and very individualized treatment based on the most recent breakthroughs in the treatment of brain cancer. We are in the year 2016, on the way to Scandinavia. Our destination is one of the world's most important life science clusters, Medicon Valley. In order to understand Medicon Valley's strong position in 2016, we need to take a look back in time. Medicon Valley is located where Denmark and Sweden meet, connected by the Öresund. There is a long tradition of medical research, publicly and privately financed, on both sides of the town. But its strength lies in the visionary work started already at the end of the 20th century. Medicon Valley is one of the major clusters in Europe. So it may be that if you counted noses or you counted economic contribution or you counted um, any attribute, it may already be in the top five in the world. The Nordic strategy seemed right. Medicon Valley became a European heavyweight and after only 10 years included 12 universities, 150,000 students, 26 hospitals, including 11 university hospitals, more than 250 biotech, pharma, and diagnostic businesses with their own departments for R&D, and more than 5,000 life science researchers combined and recognized for its scientific strongholds in diabetes, central nervous system, inflammation, and cancer all in an area with only three million inhabitants. The vision to be among the five most attractive bioregions worldwide began to take shape. In 2007, the EU launched their seventh comprehensive research program with special emphasis on personalized medicine principles. As a result, a wide variety of research led to completely new individualized medical care. 200 new businesses were incorporated between 2007 and 2013, and the establishment of Medicon Valley Clinics in 2010 was a testament of how excellence in research and knowledge sharing led to new and better treatments. On arrival at Copenhagen International Airport, Sergei Yakushev is taken directly to Medicon Valley Clinics. As a unique private nonprofit healthcare organization focused on personalized medical treatments of severe diseases, it collaborates with a large number of other hospitals in the cluster. Sergei's medical file was transmitted earlier from Moscow. There, Sergei's genetic constitution was decoded to provide important basic information for the further individual treatment of his cancer. Based on his genetic makeup and other specific conditions related to his tumor, the doctors prescribed a tailor-made treatment to take place at one of the other specialized Medicon Valley located hospital departments. What led to the building of competencies within personalized treatment in Medicon Valley? 
One important factor has been the long-standing tradition for registration of individuals in the Nordic countries. Scandinavians are only a few minutes old when they are assigned a 10-digit number listing them in the public register. And blood samples from all babies have been taken and kept on file since 1960. Together with biobanks on individual groups of diseased or predisposed people, it formed the basis for population disease studies leading to new knowledge and individualized medical treatments. Work in Medicon Valley is sharply focused on strengthening global cooperation. Life Science Ambassadors of many nationalities are located in Medicon Valley Academy to ensure broad and goal-oriented communication with similar experts in other important clusters around the world. Via the Embedded Life Science Ambassadors Exchange Program, Medicon Valley Academy has instituted a new way of securing fast and structured exchange of knowledge about complementary competencies between life science clusters around the world. Healthcare is a global challenge and by its very nature biotech is born global. And that's why we in Medicon Valley Academy has expanded our strategic focus to now setting up very close collaborations with other important bioclusters around the world. New inventions and innovative knowledge are further stimulated from interdisciplinary environments. It is an important result based on the cooperation of more than 10 leading universities in the region. This attracts a stream of elite students from around the world. This is fertile ground for new talent, and it provides for many new international career opportunities and stimulates individuals to reach the absolute top in science, just as other talents from the Medicon Valley area have done before them. The cooperation between industry and academia benefits not only fast-growing new businesses, but also the large pharma companies in the area. I'm responsible for uh, research and development at Novo Nordisk, which is a, a major Danish company with a global presence. Uh, and we're very content with being uh, research-wise based in Denmark. Uh, one reason is the notion that there's a very strong track record vis-a-vis -vis collaboration between academia on the one hand and us, the pharmaceutical and the biomedical industry on the other. Medicon Valley has unique growth conditions for new inventions and innovations in 2016, supported by a large number of international venture capital organizations. Critical mass has been achieved with a strong and central tech transfer office in Medicon Valley, providing an effective link between the universities and industry. University researchers are able to present their ideas here and receive highly qualified assistance to develop their business concepts. Proof of concept funding follows to help get the business started. New groundbreaking results in publicly financed research are quickly converted into commercially viable products. And a myriad of new fast growth companies sprout up as public-private partnerships. For someone like Florian Schönharding, looking for a unique investment opportunity, Medicon Valley is a logical place to focus. We are actually a global investment fund and we, we have the opportunity to invest in the United States and also Europe. Nonetheless, um, we have chosen in the last fund to do six out of ten investments in this area. And that is because it's extremely easy to start a business, it's easy to close a business, and we've got all the tools in the world here to make it a success. Without the right infrastructure and quality of life for people who live there, there would be no Medicon Valley. During their years leading up to 2016, many leading international luminaries settled in Medicon Valley, stimulated by this metropolitan area. As one of the region's pioneers, Christina Glad has no problems attracting